Welcome back. Well, you might have noticed driving around town ambulances that look a little different here in Kern. That's because they aren't from Hall Ambulance. They're from out-of-town out companies. 17's Marco Torres joins us in studio with more. Marco? Chris, these out-of-town ambulances are all contracted by Hall Ambulance to keep up with this ongoing surge in calls for help from the community. COVID-19 had a devastating effect on our frontline workers in the medical field. COVID-19 hit uh, between 2020 and today. We have seen a mass exodus of employees, of staff. Hall Ambulance has been working to fill the gaps with an academy that offers a 10-week course for EMT training to anyone with a high school diploma. But it's not enough. We had over 500 applicants that applied for the program. Uh, unfortunately, many wash out and less than 20 will likely be starting in. That's primarily due to they're unable to pass the math and English tests as part of the assessment. Hall offers higher pay to its medical staff than the average company in California. Newly licensed paramedics start at $61,000 a year. Mark Coram says that's $12,000 more than the state average. But even with higher pay, Hall still doesn't have enough workers. We are paying out of pocket, out of our own pocket, for additional staffing resources. We've contracted with a local industrial safety company that has uh, EMS workers, and then we're actually working, we've retained a couple of Los Angeles and uh, uh, Orange County ambulance companies to provide additional ambulance and personnel here to run calls. But it's not just Kern County, that this is affecting everybody in the state, and it's affecting the nation. California is down somewhere around 7,000 paramedics. And nationally, we're down somewhere around 21,000 paramedics. For now, Hall is trying to recruit paramedics and EMTs from across the state, and it asks everyone from home to please call 911 if it's a real medical emergency. In studio, Marco Torres, 17 News.